What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So today we're going on a road trip. If you guys saw the last vlog, you already know that we went from Austin, Texas to Houston, Texas, which was about a three hour drive. Uh, now we're leaving Houston after lunch, heading towards Dallas, Texas, which is another four hour drive. So a lot of driving here and there. I'm here with my wife and she's the designated driver. Uh, I offer to drive as well, so whenever she does feel tired, I'll take over the wheel. But uh, yeah, we're there because we'll be picking up some parts for the Honda S3000. And earlier today, we stopped by the bank to pretty much get cash. So yeah, hard earned money right here. But, like I said, we'll be picking up some parts. Uh, what we'll be picking up is a set of wheels for the S2000. So as you guys know, uh, obviously our plans to build the car. And right now, it is sitting on some OEM stock. Honda S2000 AP1 wheels. It didn't come with the AP2 wheels that it's supposed to come with, even though the car is an AP2. <clears throat> um, but yeah, nevertheless, it has rollers. Uh, the plan is I already do have some people interested to buy the stock AP1 wheels. Um, and yeah, uh, I really was looking for, you guys already know, like JDM theme built wheels. So um, you guys know I'm a sucker for race wheels. Uh, first thing I looked for was T37s. Um, and to be honest, I wanted the bronze T37s just because that's my favorite color uh, on, on T37s. The OG T37s are the ones to get, but it's so hard to find. Uh, another thing I realized owning an S2000, you could run a square setup or a staggered setup for wheels and tires. What that means is with the S2000 being a real wheel drive car, uh, if you were to run a staggered setup, you have the front wheels and tires less wide and on the rear you have wider wheel uh, wheels and tires. Uh, however, I'm going to run a square setup. What that means is all four wheels and tires are the same size. Uh, advantages to that is you get more grip up front um, you, since you run a wider tire. Uh, if you were to take your car to autocross or track days, running a square setup is recommended. Also when you ro rotate your tires, you can do that with a square setup and you can't really do that with a staggered setup. But the staggered setup does look better. Um, so anyways, we're heading there right now. Uh, T37s is not what we're getting. Uh, hopefully in the future, maybe one day we'll get a set of bronze T37s. Um, but we'll be looking and most probably picking up, if everything checks out, a set of spoon wheels. All right, so those of you guys who are unfamiliar with spoon, let me tell you what they are. Um, so with Hondas, the two big name brands that any person who has ever owned a Honda would know one is Mugen, one is Spoon. These two brands are, uh, I guess you could say, really famous in the Honda world. Um, they only make parts for Hondas. I think Spoon only makes parts for Hondas, but Mugen only makes parts for Hondas. Um, so yeah, both are pretty hard to come by. Um, Spoon is pretty much a time attack brand. Um, yeah, you can buy a bunch of parts uh, off the Spoon catalog. What makes these spoon wheels pretty unique is firstly they are S2000 spec. Uh, so if you guys are wondering, S2000 wheels, which I learned pretty recently after getting myself one, um, offset is really high. Uh, and again, I'm talking about stock body, not wide body fitment, not flush fitment, any of that. Um, typically, you want your offset to be plus 45 or higher. You can run a 17 inch or 18 inch wheel. The, those are two of the most common ones. Right now, the AP1 wheels, there are 16, so a little bit small. Um, the stock AP2 wheels are 17s. Like I said, I don't have those wheels. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely you get some nice sticky tires. The car should grip much more. Um, these spoon wheels, if you guys are wondering, are the Spoon SW388s. Uh, so really iconic spoon wheel, come in a matte black color. You guys might also know the wheel design as like the Reggae Master wheels. Uh, so yeah, pretty much like that. Um, Reason being, back in the 90s, Spoon and Reggae Master did a collaboration. So that's how the design came about. Uh, really lightweight wheel, like I said, people use it for time attack, for racing and all that. Um, but yeah, this guy uh, is in Dallas. He has it, it's a brand new set. Uh, it does have a little nicks here and there, apparently through shipping. Um, so yeah, we're gonna check it out. And uh, like I say, if everything checks out, we'll take the wheels back home. I personally never owned any spoon wheels before. I've never actually owned any spoon parts. I did order spoon parts for the S1000, they are not here yet, a small little part. Um, but 
yeah, spoon girls are pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I still want T37s, don't get me wrong. If a deal pops up, maybe in the future, but yeah, it's just rare to come by these spoon setup uh, for the S2000. Apparently this size is in the 17 by nine and a half plus 60, uh, five by 114, of course, for the S2000. Um, like I said, I think it just came out maybe late last year. I'm gonna be wrong, but uh, it came out pretty recently. If you guys are wondering, these spoon wheels uh, usually retail on the spoon website for 980 US dollars, so almost a thousand dollars each wheel. So with shipping, with taxes, and all that, you're spending way over four thousand dollars. You're probably looking at like I'm guessing forty-two to forty-five hundred dollars just for the spoon wheels. <coughs> Um, in comparison, I was looking at some Mugen wheels, also really hard to discontinue, hard to find. If you were to find a set of Mugen wheels, um, you might be spending like four or five thousand dollars. So definitely not cheap at all. Heading towards Dallas. And stopped over here to get some gas at Chevron. First gas fill up, pretty good considering this morning we drove from Austin to Dallas. Sorry, from Austin to Houston and now Houston to Dallas. Uh, we have almost two more hours to go, so hopefully this full tank of gas is going to last us around Dallas and back to Austin tomorrow. Oh, if you guys are wondering, we took my wife's car, her 2019 Honda Civic, being the sedan, can store more stuff. And like I said, since we'll be transporting some wheels, we definitely want to be able to fit some in the trunk as well as the back seat. Uh, my SI could probably do the job, but it's not as good on gas mileage and not as much space as her sedan. Pretty much just got over here to pick up the wheels. I believe is at the seller's house. So yeah, we're just gonna check them out. Uh, and if we get the permission of the seller, we'll film the wheels as well. So we're over here to check out the spoon wheels. And this is how they look. I know it's kind of hard to see right now. We'll do a full like unboxing video when we get back to the house. But uh, yeah, all four wheels here. There's a fifth wheel, there's a spare. Um, I'm currently not looking to get that, but we'll get the set of uh, four spoon wheels. So just got the wheels, they're all back there, two in the back seat, two in the trunk. Uh, like I said, pretty much uh, <laughs> what happened was the seller actually dozed off. So it took a little bit to respond to my text and call. Actually his wife came out of the house, that's how she noticed we were outside. Um, but yeah, uh, anyways, inspected the wheels, make sure everything's good, make sure it's legitimate. Um, you know, each wheel looks good. Like I said, small little scuff, but you know, once you throw tires on, you can't even see it. These wheels are new and he says he believes these are possibly the only spoon uh, wheels in this spec, S2000 pack, the 17 by 9.5 plus 60 uh, in the United States. He believes this might be the only set. Um, like I said, he has people in Japan that he was able to order parts from. Uh, I think even Spoon USA doesn't even have this set of wheels yet. So yeah, super cool dude. We spoke about cars. He has an S2000 as well, also has an NSX. Uh, seems like he might be a parts plug. He's able to get me some spoon stuff, Mugen stuff, OEM stuff. So who knows, maybe in the future we'll be back to visit him um, to get more parts, who knows. But for now, uh, right now it's dark and I'm not gonna take the wheels out of the car. Um, I'll be spending a night here in Dallas, but tomorrow whenever we get back home, you know, when there's some light, we'll take the wheels out of the box and show you guys more in detail because I know you guys want to see the wheels up close in person. All right, so we just made it back home after many hours of being on the road. So like I said, big thank you to my wife for going along with me from Austin to Houston, Houston to Dallas. We are back in Austin. We actually spent the night in Dallas while we were there. Just check out some stuff, eat some good food. Anyways, you guys are here to see the spoon wheels. So without further ado, here are the four spoon wheel boxes. Let's go ahead and open it up and show you guys what's inside. Oh, and beside the uh, spoon wheel boxes, we also have other wheel boxes. So here it says spoon wheels made in Japan. We have some work wheel boxes over here. We have some race wheels boxes over here. Yeah, you guys know I love my JDM stuff. Vares box up there. Jay's racing box there. HKS box there. Uh, this just came in the mail. I've yet to open it, but it'll be for a separate video. ASM box. Uh, we also are expecting a uh, Voltex box whenever that comes in. But yeah, I like to collect all these boxes, these JDM boxes. Uh, yeah. Anyways, 
let's go ahead and show you guys the box and show you guys the wheels inside so for those of you guys who have never seen a spoon sports wheel box before here's a little unboxing again this is my very first item from spoon sports that i ever got um sorry i beg to differ i have a spoon sports shift knob in my civic si but for wheels this is the very first set um so spoon sports on the bottom made in japan over here has the wheel specs so again the wheels are the sw388 wheels these are the wheel specs they are for an s2000 17 by nine and a half is the size 17 inch nine and a half wide offset is 60 um lock pattern is 5 by 114.3 so yeah that's how it pretty much looks spoon sports made in japan um as for the wheel itself can i do it here if you can help me hold the camera <coughs> so it's just a wheel the uh whole idea behind the name the sw388 is because of the weight so again these are the spoon sports sw388 wheels for the s2000 they come in a flat black um, if you come around over here and see the stickers inside so again, you have the wheel specs, 17 by 9.5, offset 60. You have this sticker right here as well. These are some ways to tell it's authentic. Of course, you might say these are just stickers. But if you look on the rim over here, you can see some engraving. These are actually engraved. They are not stickers. Um, so again, on here, you have like the wheel specs. Japan, I, I believe there's some sort of serial number. But all this is engraved. It's not a sticker or anything like that on the wheel. Um, in the box, there's also one more item, which is a valve stem. So, I see we're open the box. Nothing special, it's just your normal rubber valve stem, but it comes in every single box as well. So yeah, pretty much valve stem just goes in here. Um, you guys might be wondering for the spoon sports wheel um, Do you want usually it? it comes with like the sticker as well as a center cap so you have to buy it separately i already placed my order for them from out of attack to get them separately um the center cap is 25 dollars each wheel so the whole set is 100 bucks for the center cap uh the sticker on each spoke is 20 dollars per sticker so again four wheels you're looking at spending 80 bucks um so sticker and the center cap you're looking at spending almost two hundred dollars with shipping and all that so uh not cheap but again you know it's a small little addition so that from far people can tell it's a spoon sports wheel um you guys might be wondering this looks like reggae master wheels which they are um the whole idea is because spoon sports did a collaboration with reggae master wheels back in the 90s and early 2000s um you guys might have seen like s2000s running these spoon sports wheels but if you guys do see that that is the 16 inch wheel um, this 17 inch and this exact specs i believe are one uh of i guess it just got released last year um the seller who sold it to me was telling me that he believed this is the only spec in the united states again if anyone can correct me if there's another spec out there i might be wrong but he believes this is the very first set of spoon sports wheel in this spec 17 by 9.5 plus 60 in the entire United States. So I'm pretty excited to rock this size for the S2000. Uh, I will be the first one. Um, the reason he was able to get it is because he has contacts in Japan. Uh, so he was able to get it from Spoon Sports Japan directly versus most of the guys they get their stuff from Spoon Sports USA. So what that means is they, from Spoon Sports Japan, once they get the stuff, then it gets transferred to Spoon Sports USA in California and then it gets you know bought by your buyers in different states and countries so he was able to skip that step um, but yeah i'm super excited now the hunt for nice sticky tires but let's go ahead and take them all off the box and do a little cinematic to show you guys so we have all four spoon sport wheels out of the box right now here's a close-up of how they look if you guys are wondering what this is it's just a little dirty but yeah, these are brand new wheels. I bought them from a seller. I drove out of town to buy them. Um, he was going to rock them on the S2000, but he had other wheels as well. So yeah, super stoked. Like I said, this will be going on my 2007 Honda S2000. If you guys are wondering, it is sitting on stock AP1 wheels right now. 
but that's about to change really soon. Uh, I'm super stoked to rock these wheels. Like I said, they are, I believe, the only set, the first set in the whole United States. So yeah, super excited to rock them. Um, I had other choices as well. I was really, really close to getting a set of T37s for this car. Um, I actually was waiting for an order of raised T37 SLs in the blast bronze color, 17s as well. Um, I might still get those wheels in the future. Who knows? Maybe one setup like a street setup and one like a track setup. Who knows? But yeah, this setup, I'm super stoked just because these wheels are hard to come by. They are expensive, brand new. Um, I got them from a reseller. He sold them to me for less. Uh, pretty much he was making a loss. Only thing is when he bought them uh, with shipping, they had a s small little scratches. You can't really see it um, once you mount tires, kind of like on the inner barrel. So I was able to knock down the price a little bit. But yeah, these wheels are amazing. You guys are wondering, these specs do clear the spoon calipers, the big bricks on the fronts. Uh, if any of the S2000 owners are going to run spoon calipers. I know the offset is super high. I'm not used to such a high offset. But with the S2000s on a stock body, typically you want to run plus 45 offset or higher if you don't want to modify your fenders too much. Um, right now we already have fenders roll all around as well as the rear bumper tab relocated. But yeah, I'm just super stoked to be running these wheels. I'll be on the hunt and doing some research on what tires to run. If you guys have any suggestions for nice sticky tires, leave in the comment section below. Oh, and I said, I'm probably going to run a square setup uh, since these wheels are square set up as well. Um, I'm thinking 255, 40, 17 tires all around. Uh, give me the best grip. Hopefully no rubbing uh, based on like, you know, how much camber I run and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to do my research on tires. Hopefully in the next few weeks or so, I'll be ordering tires. We'll be able to throw these bad boys on. Uh, like I said, I also did order the center caps as well as stickers just yesterday after I picked up these wheels. So those should come hopefully in the next week or two. Um, and then besides tires, I also want to get some nice fancy lug nuts. I currently do have a few other sets of raised lug nuts still in the cabinet, brand new. But since these aren't raised wheels, I'll probably not rock those. Um, I do have a set of like Muteki lug nuts, but I might just rock them on my daily, my Civic Si. So what do you guys think? What kind of lug nuts would you guys like to see? I'm going to stick to my theme of JDM lug nuts. Uh, I heard great things about Project Kicks. I might run those. They're kind of pricey, but um, I'm not sure if Spoon make lug nuts as well. But I'll do some research, see what lug nuts I like to pair them with. Alright, so hope you guys like the new wheel reveal for the S2000. Hopefully you guys like the wheel choice, Spoon Sport wheels, like I said, uh, it was really between T37s or this set of Spoon Sport wheels. Uh, I would love a set of Mugens as well, MF10s, but you guys know, those things are crazy expensive, hard to find. Uh, maybe one day, we'll see. But as of right now, I'm really happy with the Spoon Sport wheels pickup. I'm just going to do a quick little cinematic and end it off. Hope you guys like it. Again, if you guys stay to the end, leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and catch you guys in the next one. We, 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 we